And we're back for the next thrilling episode of Sally Face. So, like, if if you're on YouTube, <laughs> uh, this is a different video for, for me. I literally just turned it off <laughs> and turned it right back on. <laughs> that is what happened. So, the stream continues. I don't know if Christy's still here. I think it would have booted her out. <laughs> let me, let me, let me shoot her a text and inform her we are still going. <laughs> and I'm not going to read this message out loud. I have a tendency to read my messages out loud. I don't know why I do that, but I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to have self-control. Okay. Okay. I'm not saying shit. Yes, I've done it! Wait, for some reason I put an exclamation point at the end of my sentence. Why'd I do that? <laughs> I'm deleting the exclamation point. You see, this is what happens when I don't read my text out loud. I do dumb shit. Anyways. <laughs> you might be the only one. And now... Oh, there's that fade to black. There's that, that beautiful fade to black. Sal? Sally. Where are you? It's me, Neil. I'm the question marks. Oh, this is our mom, probably. Fuck you, birds! Get out of here! I'm gonna fight all those fucking birds. Fucking birds. Don't wander off so far, sweetie. I won't, Mom. I want to see the doggy, Mom. Can't you hear him? He's going barking shit. Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. But I really want to see the doggy. Please? Please, can I go pet the doggy? Oh, all right, Sal. I'm sure that's not going to have terrible, terrible consequences that haunt you for the rest of your life however long the rest of your life may be. But who knows? Those consequences could also haunt me for the rest of my life, however long that may be, or short. I don't want to be, like, you know, presumptuous. Anyway, Sal, just give me a second to get my purse. Then we can go together. Yay! I'll wait over here by the trees. I'm gonna get to pet the doggy. I'm gonna get to pet the doggy. That's what we call the sow dance. Boom, 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 boom. Sow dance. So many trees. So many goddamn trees. There's trees in the background. Trees in the foreground. There was a weird-looking cat guy. Did no one see the weird-looking cat guy? Oh, my face is gone. Oh, well. Yeah, I do not remember this episode much at all, except for one thing with a horse later. I remember that. I mean, how could I forget that? Dog bones? Human bones? And an ambulance's bones! I was about to say carcass, but earlier I said bones. I gotta be consistent. Uh, what? Mrs. Sanderson? Thank you so much for coming to help me out with my toilet. No problem, Mrs. Sanderson. I'll have it unclogged in no time. But it was Larry who did this. Hey, wait a minute. I'm just noticing this for the first time. That picture in the background. Everybody see that? Doesn't that kind of look like Larry? Like, th that could be his dad, maybe. Wonderful. 
Herman normally would have taken care of it himself, but unfortunately his fingers have turned into banana peels. God, that's tragic. And the street corner is just so dangerous. I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom is just over there. Why is your room slightly lopsided, man? Anyone else see that? Yeah, the room is slightly lopsided. Look at that. It's like going up a ramp. I don't understand your infrastructure. Where is the toilet? Oh, there it is. Oh, God! <laughs> that kind of got me. I wasn't expecting that. All right. Jack guy at, at reference. Nice. Now to attack the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So I can climb up or... Oh, God, here's the horse. You know... There's a lot of disturbing things about this horse, but I think the most disturbing thing for me is that goddamn hole around his horn. You guys seeing that? The bloodshot eyes? Bad. The blood in the nose? Bad. The teeth? Terribly bad. The fact that you can see his fucking spine? Real bad. But the fact that there is a hole with a horn protruding out of it like that? Jesus. You there! Please! Help me! Well, what's wrong? The water! It stopped! So thirsty! Don't worry. I know how to fix this. Please! Hurry! I don't know why I sound like a fancy gentleman. But I didgeridoo. I also don't know why I said didgeridoo. But I didgeridid. Christy will laugh at that, and no one else will. <laughs> uh, are there switches? Switches? I must find me the switch to activate the water. That way the pony may drink. Okay, how many of these fuckers do I need to get? Also, why does Sal know how to navigate the sewer system? Like, he was like, oh yeah, I know how to activate the water. Why? Why do you know that, Sal? What have you been doing in this, this sewer? Sewer, Neil, sewer. Jesus. All right, let's get back down to the pony. Well, it's not the first time I've killed a horse. Look at this horn. It went through the goddamn wall. Well, time to take a shit. And now I've done it. That's a poop joke for everybody. I hope that made you laugh. It probably shouldn't have. Yeah, look! That guy kinda looks like Larry. I wonder if that's... Huh. Game theory, get on this shit! Okay, well, later, lady. Have fun being dead. I want to go this way. Game, how dare you not let me go that way. By the way, welcome in the three beautiful people in the chat. I hope you all are having an amazing day. Well, back in the void. <laughs> Cheryl, come closer. Join my gang. I have something to show you, and it's definitely not my penis. Oh no, it was his penis! Oh, uh, wait, I guess you haven't shown me yet. I know you touched my pony. 
I thought we were friends, Sal. What the? <laughs> I just now noticed that poster. Was that Edward Scissorhands with shovels for hands? Was that Edward Shovel Hands? Please, please let me see the room again. Man, oh, well, fuck, you have a Brooklyn accent. Man, you're still having those nightmares? I haven't had them since. I, I haven't had them this bad since right after my mom died. I really think it's this building. There's something off about it. Dude, I know you're insistent about it, but I really don't think this place is haunted. I've been here for most of my life, and I haven't seen any ghosts. But... But what? Well, we've known each other for a while now. I, I have to show you something. Come on. Where, where, where the fuck are we going, Larry? Oh! There are stairs here! I didn't even know that. You ready? Join the FP. Faction Paradox, bitches. Larry, are we gonna have a fun day in the snow? I hope we're gonna have a fun day in the snow, Larry. I like the snow. That background looks really pretty. Wow, how come you never told me about this? This is where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. Not to be confused with my bat cave. I have both the superhero headquarters. Awesome. Come. The tree itself is not actually my Fortress of Solitude. That would be the building at the top. The tree is my Avengers Tower. And when I get a car one day, I will call it the Batmobile. Or the Spider Buggy. Maybe I'll mix it up. This is so cool. I always wanted a treehouse when I was younger, but my parents hated me. Yeah. My dad built this for me before he disappeared into the void. Okay, so I'm seeing... I'm seeing in that picture that Larry's dad appears to be bald. But, notice that he has a red ginger beard. And that guy from before had red hair too. So is it possible that Larry's dad was secretly, like, shacking up with Mrs. Sanderson? Only he, like, shaves the beard and kind of disguised himself. What if Larry is the killer? Yeah, but my dad built this for me. Uh, implying his dad is dead. <laughs> I don't actually know if his dad is dead. Yeah, my dad built this for me before he disappeared. Wait, what do you mean disappeared? One day he was here, and everything was okay. And the next day, he turned into goo. No note, no nothing. Just goo. And all of his things were still here. His clothes, his tools, his wallet, his gun, his bazooka, his tank, his nuke. Why did your dad have so many weapons, Larry? He was ready, Sal. He was ready. Everything. You just disappeared. Damn. I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how hard that is. Did your parents not get along? Water. So, for those of you who didn't watch the last episode, there was a scene when I did a metal screaming voice. I fucked up my throat, and it is still fucked up. I know these videos are probably coming out weeks apart, but, like, my voice be fucked, y'all. <laughs> no, my parents loved each other. 
They hardly ever fought. Or anything. Oh, wait, this is your voice, Sal. Hold on. There we go. I had to put the Brooklyn back in. Anyways, no, my parents loved each other. They hardly even fought or anything. It isn't what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us. Even if that's what my mom chooses to believe. I know he wouldn't ever leave us like that. He loved us. That's why I killed him. It's weak to be loved. I believe you. So what do you think happened? Look, I know you know I'm not generally superstitious. And I know you and Chug swear that the apartments are haunted. That's someone we didn't meet last episode, Chug. I was, I was pretty sure we were supposed to meet him. But, well, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told many people about this. But I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Of course not. I'm really into that one song, Ace of Bass. You know, the one where it's like, I'm all about that bass, no treble. I know people haven't talked about it in years. I know it's a really outdated meme and song. But I can't help it, Sal. If you activate that boombox in the background, you will hear all about my bass. About my bass. No treble. Wow, Neil, that's the joke you chose to go with. The day before he disappeared, I did something I'm not proud of. My parents got some firecrackers, and they told me so many times to wait for them, not to play with them on my own. But I just couldn't resist, dude. It was fire in cracker form. I lit a few out back, and one ended up in Mrs. Gibson's open window. He killed a pet rabbit. Oh man, that's rough. That's incredibly rough. Yeah. So I ran to check on Miss Gibson, and she was screaming at me like crazy, as if I needed another reason to piss her off. As if I needed another reason to piss off. Oh, oh, okay. He's, he's saying piss off as in go away. I, I thought he was talking about pissing someone off. That old bag... That windy old bag. I felt horrible, though. That poor bunny. Anyway, as I was coming down in the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. What? You, you kind of buried the lead there, man. You didn't set up any of this shit for the demon, and then you dropped it on me. What the fuck, Larry? <laughs> He reached out, and he, and he touched me. I got this super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared shitless, dude. I did shit everywhere. I thought I was losing my mind, along with my shit. He was gone as quick as he came. Sex joke. Just as the door opened, he cursed me. Because of what I did, he cursed me. Everything in my life was fucked after that. My dad turned to goo. My mom stopped talking to me for a while. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen, which is, honestly, is the worst thing that happened. Like, I, yeah, my mom stopped talking to me. That sucks. My dad's goo now. That sucks. But I love that bike, Sal. <laughs> I loved it a lot. I missed so much school. I had to take summer classes. It's been one bad thing after the next. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Christy commented Fazgoo. <laughs> uh. 
I, I heard that there was like a sneak peek or or a trailer or something got released today for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. I haven't seen it yet. I have no idea what it is. But uh let us pray to whatever gods we believe in. That Faz Goo is not going to make a cinematic debut. Oh, sneak peek images. That's cool. Was it something cool? Ever since then, horrible things have ha happened to me. Or around me. Like, for example, I met this really stupid kid with blue hair, and then he kept hanging around with me, and now I'm stuck with the bastard. Larry, that really hurts my goddamn feelings. So you think this curse took your dad away and turned him into goo? I guess that's the joke Neil's going with. I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's my fault my dad is goo. The rabbit, Miss Sanderson, everything. Oh, I see. So you're also committing to the goo joke. Okay. Well, hold on, man. Even if there is some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for every bad thing that happens. It's not all your fault. Just most of it is your fault. What did this demon look like? It was nothing like I've ever seen before. It wore black and white striped outfits, had a yellow cape, had a big hat, had orange hair, and a black mask. Oh, and a tie covered in burgers. Larry, you've just described the Hamburglar. <laughs> Are you implying that the Hamburglar killed your dad? <laughs> oh, no, sorry. I was just having a flashback to something else. What other thing? Don't worry about it, Sal. It was like a moving shadow, all black and misty, but had the form of a man. A man who wanted burgers. And the eyes were the worst part. These deep red eyes that pierced right through you. Holy shit. What? I've seen it too. I've seen your hand, the uh, demon. You confuse me a lot with that fucking Hamburglar tangent, man. No way, when? I swear, I've seen it in the building, just like you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghosts, too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How would we do that? Maybe there are some clues around that could help. We can try to find out more about the ghosts. See if we can get to the bottom of this. Sure. Why not? I've got nothing left to lose. Except for my boombox. And my ace of bass. Okay, Larry, you... I'm not a fan of Megan Trainer. This is something that's gonna hurt our friendship. I'm gonna look around your shitty... <laughs> treehouse. Nothing useful in here. Full of junk. Aw. Huh? That's strange. What is that? Okay, so he looks... That guy has green eyes. So if we go into Miss Sanders' room again, I want to see if the guy had green eyes. Because he looked kind of like Larry. And they share a, a, a fucking hair color. I found this weird Gearboy cart cartridge in the Lost and Found box a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. That was one of the last pictures we took together, not long before he disappeared. Huh. I better keep looking. Okay. 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 Chest. Ooh. Uh, well, this looks like his jacket, maybe? A worn leather jacket. There's a couple of old concert tickets in the pocket. I guess that's where Larry gets his taste in music. Seems like a nice way to bond. I don't think I've even watched a concert on TV with my dad, let alone gone to one live. It was pretty normal looking for the most part. Did they show off any of the animatronics yet? I know we saw Freddy in a leak, but that looked more like Golden Freddy, honestly. 
I want to see a trailer. I hope we do soon. The back of one. Oh, it's probably Freddy. A bunch of nature and outdoorsy magazines. Seems like Larry's dad is the opposite of my dad. The magazines are all old, from six years ago or more. Doesn't look like anything too useful, though. Let's see what else I can find. What is this demonic-looking puzzle box thing? There's some kind of weird small box in here. Looks like it's shield, uh, sealed. Why did I say shield? Take it. Yo, Larry, what the fuck is up with this? I have no idea, man. It belonged to my dad. It's some kind of puzzle box. Never could figure out how to open the damn thing, though. Looks like there's a piece missing. Oh yeah, you're right. I never noticed that before. Do you mind if I hold on to this? Yes, I do. It's mine. I'm taking it anyways. All right, well, I can't stop you. Just let me know if you get it open. I won't. You're a bad person, Sal. I am. Nothing useful in there. Okay, well, there's the picture. You know, the dad does not look happy. Like, look at him. He's like... He looks mildly content. Uh, is there anything else I can look at in here? Cabinet. Picture. Yeah, I thought maybe I could look at that other picture, but it's not going to let me. It's getting pretty cold. We should go back inside now. Ready when you are. All right, let's leave. Being in a treehouse in the winter has got to be pretty freezing. I don't think I've ever been in a treehouse. I, I may have once. But, like, uh, for some reason I had the vaguest memory of something like that. I used to climb trees all the time when I was a kid, but never encountered a treehouse to my knowledge. Christy, you you ever been in a treehouse? I'm gonna look around and see what else I can find out. You know, honestly, treehouses are kind of dangerous. I don't know if I would want a treehouse. Now that I'm a rational adult. Okay, sounds good. I sort of have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. Hey, uh, Larry? Why are you drawing a picture of Demonic Zordon from the Power Rangers? Like, Jesus Christ, this is Zordon, but scary. Rangers, I'm here to eat your soul. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. Who's Megan again? Oh, that was the ghost we could have found in the first game episode. Yeah, I think I missed things in in the first episode. If Sally were a furry, would she be a Sally cat? Gek, Sally is a dude. <laughs> I know that the name and the pigtails are deceiving, but Sal's a dude. Also, I could see it being a Sally Cat. Oh, hey, Chug. Chug, what are you up to? Hi, Sally Face. I'm waiting for the snack guy to fill the machine. Can't stop my Saturday without chocolate. I hear ya. I like to start the weekend off with video games and cartoons. Did you see the new Rico's Modish Wife episode? <laughs> Oh, well, Gek summoned the deaf kitty. All right, we'll be back. I gotta go find that Mortis bitch. In the meantime, enjoy this weird visual of Chug doing that thing with his mouth.
You almost killed me, Gek. <laughs> so when I went to get Mortis... Mortis, get the fuck out of my chair! <laughs> you fucking little dipshit. <laughs> he does this every time. <laughs> I'm taking a picture, because he's looking at me like, do something, bitch. Don't look away from me, Mortis. He saw me pull out the camera. <laughs> you look at me. You look at me, you kitty bastard. Fine. I will take a picture of your head. He really loves that chair. Aggressively! <laughs> Come here. <laughs> I need to sit here. This is close to the computer. But yeah, you almost killed me, Gek. When I went to get Mort, there was something on the ground. I think it was like a... A bag made out of this, like, weird material. What's the name of the material? It wasn't, like, cloth. Well, anyways, it was slick as shit, and I almost did the damn splits while grabbing Mortis. <laughs> you could have killed us both, Gek. But it's worth it, because now I get to give Mortis chin scratchies. Don't you love it, buddy? Do you love your chin scratchies? He's like, Yes, I do. I don't know why Mortis sounds like that. But he does, I guess. You want on my lap? Alright, buddy, I gotta read some dialogue. Yeah, that was great. I love that show. Yeah, Rocco's Modern Life is great. Skylar really loves that show. Oh, God, what voice did I give Chug? Mato! I assume this was the voice I gave him. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Chug! <laughs> Have you seen any ghosts lately? Nah, not really. I know she's your friend, but Megan scares my pants off. I just stay in my room most times. Oh, so he's seen Megan. Interesting. Mortis, come on, you little bastard. Quit trying to sabotage the stream. You were brought into this stream by Gek. And now you're trying to abuse it. He, he's, he's trying to sleep on the keyboard again, Christy. <laughs> he either wants the chair or the keyboard. He, he, he views the vet... The vet? He views the bed as invalid now. <laughs> you silly little cat. Just fall asleep on my lap. You used to do it all the time. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know what I asked him, but he says, What the heck? No! Are you trying to give me nightmares? This isn't my voice. This is my voice. I'm Chug. All right. See ya, Chug. See ya. All right. Laundry. Really? Who keeps leaving their clothes in here? The assholes. Doesn't look like anything I could use right now. All right, well, let's go try to find Megan. Wasn't she in one of the bathrooms? I think maybe she's in the bathroom on five, but I tried to go in there, and I, I couldn't get in there. Yeah, so I guess if you don't find Megan in the first game, she just shows up here. I should call Larry up so he can meet Megan. Then I'll have to believe. Then I'll have to believe that Addison's apartment is haunted. Larry, are you there? I'm here. What's up? Can you come up to 504? Sure. My mom just took her. Uh, sure. My mom just took her medicine, and my Brooklyn accent came back, so she'll be passed out for a while. I'll be right up. Good. This is good. So, what is it you wanted to show me? Is it your penis? It's not my penis. Why do you keep assuming that? Come on. Come into this bathroom. Why do you want me to go in the bathroom if you're not going to show me your penis? Look, just come on. Oh, I have to move there. <laughs> I thought the scene would cut. Damn. Damn. These floors, the, these fifth floor rooms have seen better days. Shit! What? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you here? Hello? 
I want you to meet my friend, Larry. I don't think there's anything in here, dude. She might be afraid. She can be pretty shy. Though I haven't been able to get her to come out for a while now. I hope she's okay. So, you come up to this moldy bathroom to talk to a dead girl? How often do you come up here? Maple Syrup Sunday, welcome in. Teletubby man? <laughs> I was the Teletubby man in that stream. I don't have Teletubby facts for you now. Honestly, I don't even remember the name of our Teletubby Lord and Savior. Was it Umpus? Or was it Umbus? It was something like that. I've been able... Uh, fuck. I've been able to talk to her a few times. Like I said, she hasn't been around lately. Oh, it was Umpus. Umpus or Umpis? And you were the Teletubby Man? <laughs> Do you know the Tubby Man? The Tubby Man? The Tubby Man! <laughs> I am the Tubby Man. Christy, don't say, oh god. You've said puns that have scared the shit out of me. You are the punny lady. I am the tubby man. <laughs> These are our roles in life, I guess. Why, yes, because he is me. You know, I don't even know if I'm gonna upload that VOD to YouTube, so some people just have no idea what the fuck we're talking about. I might. I might save it and put it in, like, a, uh... I've been thinking about doing a, um... Uh, a, a funniest moment stream. Maybe I'll put it in one of those. Like, have a montage. This game looks interesting. Kind of reminds me of that one game on Steam. Had to be there. Which game on Steam, Sunday? Uh, do you mean Little Misfortune? Or or even Franbo? God, I wish Franbo was on consoles. I would love to play Franbo for you fine people. Franbo is so fucking good. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm going to prove this to you. Hey, I never said you were crazy, man. As weird as this is, I believe you, okay? You're my best bud. And if this helps at all with finding my dad, then I'm all for it. I really thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I just... had this feeling. Franbo is awesome? Yes, Christy. Yes, it is. Franbo is so fucking cool. Dude, know who you should go talk with? Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know. And he's also into this supernatural stuff, like you are. I bet he could help somehow. Todd? Really? Huh. I never expected that whole that he would believe in that stuff. He always seemed so... normal. Rational. Sexy is what I was gonna say, but yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. All right, I'm gonna head back downstairs to make sure my mom's all right. Let me know if you find anything. Found it on my wish list. Children of Silent Town is what it's called. I've never heard of that. Christy sa says, It would be fun to cosplay Fran one day for Halloween or something. Though my hair is pretty long compared to hers. I think you would look incredibly cute as Fran, though. You could even use Mortis as your Mr. Midnight. Alright, I'm gonna head back. we Will do. Although Mortis isn't black, Mr. Midnight is a black cat. Can I take this plunger? I would like to steal this plunger. You know, I like how I was like, I think you'd look cute as Franbo. Franbo and some of her art is covered in blood, so you might actually not look cute as Franbo, Christy. In fact, you might look quite terrifying. <laughs> 
Didn't you do like a Chara cosplay or was that Frisk? Also, the children of Silent Town sounds cool as shit. Well, let me take a look at this. I'm on my computer. I can take a look. Oh, that's cool as fuck. I, I only saw the art and the clock tower in the background, but that looked cool. Oh, you did do Chara. Okay. I wasn't even covered in blood. I just held the knife in that. You see, I couldn't remember. Although, if you're doing Franbo, solid chance you should be covered in blood. Have have you ever heard Random Encounters' song about Franbo, Christy? The one where it's like, uh, Franbo, Franbo, none of this is real. That song is cool as fuck. Christy has seen it. Fuck yes. I approve. I approve, Christy. Only some people will get the character, lol. Only some will know. <laughs> They're pretty busy right now. I shouldn't bother them. Oh, this is the college student's room. I thought this was Todd's room. David's place. Oh, hi, Sal. What gins want up to today? Hey, David. David, you scare me. Have you seen any ghosts around? Yeah, for sure. The ghosts of my past keep me awake at night. All the time, I barely get any sleep around it. You scare me, David. But what about, like, a spirit of someone else that used to live here? Sally, you's gotta lay off the drugs, man. Trust me, y'all, you all live. Fuck, I can't speak the words. Have a better life for it. Don't make the same mistakes I did. What happened to your pants? Oh, well, they're in the wash. Still, Sarah was supposed to go get them. At Bud Wed Fuck, I can't read this person's dialogue. <laughs> we just got to talking, that you know. Lost track of time. See ya. Have you played Little Misfortune? I've seen a Let's Play of it, haven't played it yet. Is it on consoles? I wouldn't mind playing it. Chug's Place. No one's home. Can I go into Chug's Place? Chug is downstairs and his parents work on the weekends. So let's rob him, Sally! This would be the time! This would be the time! Alright, let's go to the second floor. Todd's place. Oh, I gotta think of a voice for Todd. Hey, Sally Face. Sorry it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up a tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? I'm sure you won't fall in love with her the second you see her. Hi. I'm Ash. I fell in love with her the second I saw her, Todd. Well, sucks to be you, buddy. You must be Sally Face. I've heard so much about you. I, um, me? Um, you have. Um, hey. <laughs> Yeah, all good things, I swear. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Me, uh, too. Er, uh, you, you, you too. Um, I mean, it's nice to meet you as well. Yes. Yes. Ash would be fun to cosplay too. Especially later. She gets a design change later. I'm sure you already know that, Christy. You've watched a Let's Play for this game. But her design later is even cooler. And you know, Ash's hair is about your length, I would say. At least last time I saw a picture of you. Well, I'd love to stay and chat more, but I have to get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. No problem. 
we can work more on algebra next week. Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully I'll run into you again soon, Sally Face. Hers is down to her butt. Mine is not that long. Cher's is that long. <laughs> Cher's hair is long as fuck. <laughs> like, I, I think it might be down to her legs at this point. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Enjoy the weekend, boys. You too. She's gone, Sal. You all right, Sal? You seem a bit anxious. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm good. I'm cool. I'm sexy. Okay, so uh, what brings you this way? Also, you are quite sexy. Ash seems nice. Is she a freshman, too? What is she like? Her name is Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman. Like us. And an overall nice person. She has some trouble with math, so I've been tutoring her for the past couple of weeks. Uh, Maple comments, I think my favorite channel point reward I've ever seen was in stream. I think it was like 100k points. Or a mill. Can't remember, but it was very funny. A very funny ass reward. I'm having a good night. Oh, you were asking, Christy. I have no idea, but all these games are so dreadfully, adorably bonkers. Yeah? Bonkers as shit. In exchange, she occasionally assists me with my art assignments. She sounds like a great friend. Glad to hear you're having a good night, too. Yeah! I'm texting about my friend while watching the chaos of Neil. Well, thank you. Sure, I suppose you didn't come here to talk about Ashley, though. So, what's up? Oh, right. I see dead people. Are you referring to Mrs. Sanderson? No, it's something else. This building is haunted, and I'm trying to find out more about the ghosts here. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. I need your help. Thank you for telling me your story. I think I may be of some assistance with your exploration of the paranormal. Specifically, I have a suspicion that an apparition resides inside my bathroom. Huh? Really? Yes, it does, to be strange. It does seem to be a strange coincidence that your Megan and my apparition are both found in bathrooms. However, it could also be that the water pipes of act as some sort of conductor for them. Though that is only one speculation on my point. Do you have the Gear Boy cartridge with you now? Yeah. Perfect. Let's go back out to the bathroom. What do you usually do to call upon Megan? Does the Gear Boy always light up when she's near? It doesn't light up every time. Usually I just start talking to her. Sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Okay, go ahead and try the same thing here so we can attempt to summon the spirit. Hello, is anyone here with us? Ghost from the beyond? Elvis Presley? I know the rumors that you died in a bathroom, although I've also heard that that's a hoax. But I don't actually know for sure. I'm not really educated on the topic of Elvis Presley's death. Anyways, are you in here? We're not gonna hurt you, Elvis. We're friends. I think I'll draw tomorrow. Been playing games all week. Need to practice. Told myself I would. 
been lazy, wanting to beat a few games, though. Never gonna make what I want to if I don't practice, though. Darn fun stuff being so fun. I feel that shit. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say Elvish. Nah, caught myself. Although there was a part of me that probably wanted to. <laughs> Hello, is anyone there? Elvis? Nothing is happening, and the game isn't lighting up either. Hmm, I have an idea. Let me see that. I bet I can modify your gear boy to help you better detect supernatural hotspots. Cool, sounds good to me. The cat is on my toes. <laughs> I'll need to- more. come on. <laughs> I'll need to- the fuck, come on. I'll need two things in order to complete the alteration. Sam! You beautiful bastard! How you doing tonight, dear? Are you feeling good? How is the you? Welcome in. I'll need two things. First thing I need is to amplify devices... The device... Fuck! The device's reception! Sorry. My teeth are destroying themselves. They seem at war with my mouth. Why is that happening to everybody in this apartment building? I don't know. But secondly, I need something to boost its electrical output. I'm okay. Just got back from the studio. The studio? What you been doing there, Sam? So, like, an antenna and a battery pack? Gotta feed my dogs and then bedtime. Fair enough. Sure. Oh, uh, to fuck the voice. Sure. I'll be in my room once you're ready. I was going to ceramics. Oh, that's cool. It's a makerspace in my town. I have never been to a ceramics thing. Hookah! Hookah! Sorry. My inner stoner is showing for just a second. Every time I see a hookah... <laughs> I must worship it. Can I go into Todd's room? Todd's parents are in there. I don't want to bother them. They could be sleeping. Is that a puffer fish? I like your fish. That's Bob. He's okay. My parents insisted that I needed more nature in my life. Counterbalance of all this technology, as they put it. Okay. Okay. Will this work for reception? Will this work for power? Oh. Will what work? Keycard. Walkie-talkie. Uh, let's try the walkie-talkie. Hmm. That antenna is a bit too small for our purposes. Alright, well, the puzzle box? That's an interesting box. We'll need something longer and much thinner. Okay, well, will it work for power, maybe? Let's try that. Okay. Okay, fair. Walkie-talkie. Yes, the battery from your walkie-talkie will work perfectly. Good thinking, Sally Face. Huh. Okay. Well, let's go find something for reception. Goodbye, Bob the Fish. I like that he put the name above the fish tank. If I ever have a fish tank, which... My grandma has a fish tank, and it's a lot of work, so I don't think I ever will. But if I ever do, I want to put the name of the fish above the damn bowl like that. Uh, so, whose room is this? The people that lived here moved out after what happened with Charlie. Okay. Charlie's old place. Is all this stuff still in here? No, it's gone. We can go into his kitchen now. Man, that smell is still lingering. I'm definitely not going in there. Well, let's go back upstairs and try to talk to Megan again. I don't know why. I feel like that would be beneficial for us. Nope, nope. Neil, come on. Okay. To the top.
I have not had a puppy. I, I, don't get me wrong, we've taken care of dogs before in my house and stuff, but I, I don't think I've ever had a dog that was mine. I've had tons of kitties, though. Barred shut. Okay, let's try to go in the bathroom again. Megan! Megan, you in here? Megan! Alright. I mean, we used to have a dog named Petey forever ago. But, like, he wasn't really mine. He was the family dog. Mortis is my BFF, though. I have animal companionship. He must not be home. Who the fuck is Robert? Didn't meet that guy. This my room? Oh, the kitty is watching TV! Just my, like my guy. Also, I want a chair like this. God, these chairs are comfortable. You don't know how comfortable these chairs are until you have worked a whole day of just grueling work and you come home and you just slink into it and you're like, oh, God, the world is okay for a second. God, I love those chairs. I have some good memories of those back when I was briefly in college. Oh, I wonder if Dad's here. We can hear the creepy voice I gave him. Dad, you here? <laughs> Edward Shovel Hands. That is totally what that is. Hey! The guitar makes sound. That's cool. Vampire Hunter B. She lives. Is that a reference to Buffy? Dad? Hey, Dad. Can't talk right now, Sal. I have to make this deadline for work. <laughs> Goodbye, Sal. <laughs> I live alone with three dogs and a cat. I wish I lived alone. <laughs> I gotta deal with Caleb. <laughs> That's a joke. Caleb and I are buds. But Philip. I don't trust Philip. She's not a good person. Philip's a cat, by the way. They are pretty busy right now. I probably shouldn't bother them. They're doing college stuff. Like, uh... What do people do in college? Huh. Murder? Yeah, they probably murder. Alright, well, Chug is still downstairs. Oh, maybe Chug has something I can get from him? Let's try that. Oh, air quotes alone. <laughs> Alright, see ya, Chug. Let's check the lost and found. Do you have things in you? Okay, well, let's see if Larry has anything. Larry! I am here for information. Also, who are these people? Are those Larry's grandparents? I love his grandpa. Huh. This is just like the chest in the treehouse. But there's nothing of note inside this one. Oh, well, I'm in your bathroom, Larry. I thought this was your room. Is your mom okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she'll be all right. The change of the seasons always gets to her. It's a bad cold. She'll be okay. All right, I'll be back. I guess you're not helpful. Did you ever get a new tape? Nah, I don't want to listen to the band. 
Can I go outside? I'm outside! The air quotes accounts for my freeloading child. <laughs> Your child is adorable. She's not a freeloader. But this cat, on the other hand. You need to get a job, Mortis. You need to benefit society. Anything in the cabinet? Nothing useful. I got that weird box, but there doesn't seem to be anything else of note. Nope. Alright. Let's go back inside. Christy, do you know what we're looking for? I figure I'll ask you, because I remember you mentioning, uh... You, you watched a Let's Play of this game. She can be both a freeloader and adorable. That's true. This cat is cute as shit. And yet, he doesn't pay my rent. Let me... Hmm. I'm trying to think of other places to check. Let's go see if we can talk to Addison. Uh, go talk to Todd again. He might tell you what you're doing next. Okay, we'll go to Todd in a minute. How many I... <coughs> Sorry. I sound like this. How may I help you, Sal? What's with the new cameras? Didn't you and your father receive the invitation to the monthly meeting? Everything gets discussed there. Um, oh yeah, I guess we just kind of forgot about it. That's not a problem at all, though I do suggest you join in on the next meeting for sure. If you're able to do, that is. You see, it helps keep everyone informed and up to date. Anyhow, to answer your question, I've had a new security system put in. For every... <laughs> Sorry, Sam made me laugh. I feed ba five bastards. They don't cheapen. <laughs> I feel that. For everyone's safety, with all the recent events, the tenants were getting a bit nervous. My hope is that with this new state-of-the-art security system, everyone can feel more comfortable in their living arrangements. And I'm definitely not secretly watching people in the cameras. That makes sense. Thanks for catching me up on that. My pleasure. Have you seen any ghosts? My building's haunted. The last thing I need right now are some promiscuous phantoms f fucking around in my fucking place of business. I'm having a hard enough time keeping everyone happy while Lisa is sick. No, no, it's okay, Mr. Addison. Everything is okay. I was, uh, working on a paper for school. Yeah, that's all. Phew! I nearly had a heart attack there. I simply cannot handle any more stressors at the moment. You're doing a great job. Try not to be too hard on yourself. You're too kind, Sal. Goodbye. Good day! One of these days, Addison... I'm going to break into your house, and I'm going to see what your legs look like. I'm curious if you even have them. I only ever see your eyes. I don't think anyone lives here. Then rob it, Sal. Why do you never want to commit a felony with me, Sally Face? Can I go out here? No, I cannot. Okay, well, let's try going back and... Well, just because we're on this floor, let's check in with Miss Gibson. What the fuck? Miss Rosenberg's place? Who is it? It's Sal from upstairs. Is there something you want? I just wanted to talk to you. To me? Oh, all right, come on in. The door is open. 
oh, I remember this lady. She kept talking about death. Wow. I can relate to her more now. I, it, I have a new appreciation for death now. Hello there, Sally Face. What brings a young girl like yourself to see this old woman? Hi, Miss Rosenberg. I wanted to ask you a few things, if that's okay. Ask away, child. I may not have much time left, but time is all I've got now. Yes, time's all I have, and even that'll soon slip away from me when the cold, deep death breath takes me to the afterlife. Okay. Or maybe I've never really had a grasp on it at all. Such a strange concept, isn't it? Time, sitting here alone, the mind can drift into the deep nothingness void that is oblivion. Every now and then I think about existence and the end of it. I'm going to hell when I die, Sal. A great deal wondering what's beyond the veil. Get too deep into these thoughts and the world makes less and less sense. Yes, time is an enigma. Oh, but listen to me rambling on. I'm sorry, dear Sally. You had something to ask? How long have you lived here? <laughs> Every now and then we fall apart. Long indeed, though it's hard to say exactly how old I am. I lost track in the BCs before the GCs. See, the GCs are when Jesus died. Jesus starts with G, right? I hope so. My old mind can barely hold on to memories of Jesus Christ. I met him, you know. Anyways, let alone the distant past, I'm afraid my days are nearing an end. Soon I will return to the dust and my consciousness will merge. <laughs> what the fuck? with the great and mysterious nothing, a void that's impossible for our little brains to wrap their heads around. And trust me when I say that my brain has a head. I've tried. Yes, a powerful dreaded emptiness nothingness. I'm so sorry, sweetie, I've been rambling on again. I mean... Just love life and try to live it to the fullest and take your shot. What was your question? It's okay, Miss Rosenberg. I was asking how long you lived in Addison Apartments. You know, I do remember when Addison's moved here from overseas to construct this building. Actually, this land belonged to my family first, but I decided to sell it to the Addisons. Since I was the only one remaining, all of them died. I thought the company would be nice to have again. Someone to share the anguish of life. <laughs> Lady Jesus, you're a downer. <laughs> I was young and desperate for a new beginning. Oh, what a foolish girl I was. You regret selling the land? A life as old as mine is filled with regret, my dear, though it all eventually becomes meaningless. <laughs> oh, God. Nihilism, nihilism, not the answer. <laughs> but it can be funny to laugh at. <laughs> uh, question. Why do you have pictures of a cat on your wall? Oh, that? That's the death god Mortis, my one true idol. Yeah, that cat will haunt some random poor sap for a couple years, use him for food and the occasional pets, steal his chair every now and then, but eventually that cat will take over the planet and eat it. Yes, that's why he's called Mortis, you see. It's Latin for death. Why do you worship a cat? The Egyptians did it. All right, you win this round. Whatever happened to the rest of the family? Do they live around town? Sally, they're dead. You've given her an excuse to talk about death again. <laughs> I don't know, nihilism has some merit. Nah, nah, I, I was laughing at it a little. 
I, I prefer absurdism, but like, I, I definitely see, like, there was a period of time when I was very nihilistic. Whatever happened to the rest of the family? Do they live around town? They are gone. Gone? Child, have you not been paying the fuck attention lately? Oh god, Mortis does mean death. Yes, it does. <laughs> that was intentional. <laughs> I am a positive kind of nihilist. I, I am glad to hear that. I, I definitely agree with some of... Uh, what nihilism brings to the table. I, I don't want to, like... When, when I made that joke a little bit, it, it kind of sound A little bit ago. It sounded kind of dismissive. I don't want to dismiss nihilism all right out. There's definitely some stuff to it that I definitely agree with. Like, nothing matters, so why stress about dumb stuff? I mean, that's tampering with absurdism just a little bit. Time takes us all, Sally. Poor little Terrence is the last of his family. Oh, I suppose he's not so little now, but that's how I see him. As that young boy with the twinkle in his eye and head filled with dreams before the cat eventually eats him. Now look at him. He never leaves that godforsaken room. Yeah. Why does he stay locked away in there? He went a little kooky after his family passed, if you ask me. The boy was so wound up he was afraid to show his own shadow. Terence worshipped his father and gave up on his dream of opening a tea house in order to run his father's apartments. Slowly but surely he began confining himself in the safety of his room, until one day he stopped coming out altogether. Yes, despite the cheerful persona he puts forth from behind that door of his, Terence Addison is about as timid as they come. Damaged by a life of misfortunes. But aren't we all, my dear? Yes, I suppose we are. How does he get food? I don't know, Christy. I have no idea. Does someone buy it for him? I could see that. Maybe someone brings him food. He seems to have money. Have you seen any ghosts in this building? Ghosts? Why in heavens would you worry about such a thing as ghosts, Sally? You're such a sweet young girl. You remind me of myself from another time. Do old Rose a favor. Enjoy your life while it lasts. Don't be consumed by the allure of death and its many secrets. I know, yes, yes, it's quite tempting and very easy to get pulled in. Why, you could say we are all ghosts, really. Just waiting to pass from this place to the next and embrace the cuddles of that demented little cat demon. Such a thin membrane that separates existence from non-existence. With all our frail bones and delicate casings, any small missteps could send us reeling into eternity in the blink of an eye. Egyptians also worship dogs, bugs, birds, basically history's most hardcore furries. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that Sunday. God, Ellie would not like this woman. <laughs> I, I, I struggle to think of anything to talk about with this woman except for death. <laughs> Would you like a hug, ma'am? Yes, but just realize that when you hug me, it might be the last thing I ever do. Because when you leave, I'm surely gonna die. Bye. I am never going back in there unless I have to. I think Mrs. Gibson would kill me if I bothered her again. So let's do it. Now, nah, well... Okay, so I guess we can try talking to Todd again. Let's go to the third floor and talk to Todd the Inventor. 
Oh, this is David's place. Oh, Todd is up one more floor, I think. Were we not on floor two just now? I thought we were. Wait, is three where we just went? Okay, now I'm just confusing myself. David's place. Okay, let's go to four. Four is my room, so, so were we not on two? Is two where Todd is? Yeah, this is Todd's place. I got confused by numbers. Todd, I need more information. All right, Todd, you're not giving me any information. Let's go check my bedroom. Maybe, maybe there's like a thing in there I can use. I do have, I do have things. That lady, <laughs> that lady. Oh, maybe you gotta try to talk to Megan. I'll try that again in just a second. Let me go into my room. Let's see if I can find something. Okay, nothing in my room. Anything in my dad's room? I'm mashing the X button. Alright, Dad. Dad, your eyes are more blue than they really should be. Or you can talk to him again with this work with the reception or whatever. I, I I can try. Maybe he'll give us a hint. I don't think I have whatever he's after right now. I, I think when you have the item, you talk to him about that, and then he, like, tells you whether it's the correct item or not. Let's check out this room one more time. I, I wanted to see if you were right about Megan. It's boarded shut. If not, we'll go back to Todd. Because I'm not quite sure what we're supposed to do yet. But I'm glad I have all of you people in the chat to watch me stream. And I'm glad we're playing this video game together. Oh, this door opens now. Maybe this is what I was supposed to do. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. That's it? <laughs> Just a blood-soaked birdcage? That's all I get to see? Yeah, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> this door's locked too. Can I look through the hole again? No, I can't. Well, that's peculiar. I wonder what that door does. All right, let's check all the floors on... Let's check all the doors here. Okay, Robert's not home. Let's check the other door over here. This is Mrs. Sanderson's old place. Oh, I can't go in. 404. Whoa, there's a camera missing there. You see that? I wonder why. That's weird. There's a little bit of visual storytelling there. I wonder if someone took it. Alright, let's go talk to Todd. This is David. <laughs> Did we check this side? Chug's place. Knock. No one's home. No, okay. Alright, let's try Todd again. Why not? We'll see. Because I have no damn clue where to go now. Todd, I need you to tell me if I've already got the thing you want. Will this work for the reception key card? Although the cord does have a magnetic strip, I'm afraid this won't work. Walkie talkie. And we already tried the puzzle box earlier. Yep, no hints from Todd. Maybe we can get something from Larry's room? Larry's like the only thing I can think of left. And I'm pretty sure we already talked to him. 
Let's look around on floor one just a little more, just to be sure. Oh wait, did we go to the other side of Todd's room? I'm sorry if I'm backtracking, guys, but I can't remember. I tried. I appreciate the, the help, Christy. At least I have a friend in all of this madness. Charlie's old place. Oh yeah, we were already in here earlier. People don't live there, okay. But who's next to Todd? Knock. No one's next to Todd. Alright, so I guess we gotta try Larry again. Larry! Do you have something I can use? Chug, for some reason I thought you had it, and I'm disappointed to see that you don't. Doesn't look like anything useful is in there. Fuck. Vending machine. Larry? Anything new? Oh, mind if I borrow the scanner? Of course this will work. Hell yeah, we did have to go to Larry's room. I've done it! I've solved the crisis. Now we take this up to uh, dead Todd, for some reason I forgot his name, and bada bing, bada boom, bitch. Oh, uh, will this work? Yes, this will work perfectly. With the two components you retrieved, and my own equipment, I can adequately make the modifications to the Gear Boy 1. Spoke of earlier, give me a moment and I'll get it ready. Wow, that was one hell of a moment. Indeed it was. Okay, all set. Behold, the Super Gear Boy! Uh... Cool. Don't worry, you can still play games on it. It'll be in ghost hunting mode while this strange cartridge is inside of it. So we just found a random paranormal video game cartridge? Just randomly? Oh, awesome! Uh, you had me worried for a second. However, I unfortunately needed a few extra parts for from the walkie-talkie. I wasn't able to salvage it. I hope that is all right. Larry's not going to be so happy about it. It's okay, though. It's for a good cause. Christy says, can you play the game? I think you can. I think, actually, if I'm remembering correctly, playing the game kind of... Uh, I, I think it might change what ending you get, maybe, if I'm remembering that correctly. But I might be wrong. Wonderful. Now, for the best results, you'll need to hold the system out with the antenna fully extended. To do so, press the triangle button. The screen will glow if it detects any paranormal frequencies in close proximity. While it's flashing, press that R1 button there to produce a large electrical discharge. If my theory is correct, the surge of electricity will provide an ample source of power. <laughs> I am spitting everywhere. <laughs> An ample source of power to energize nearby apparitions and possibly other supernatural elements, too. Okay, I think I get the gist of it. I suggest we take it for a test run in the bathroom. Sounds good. Whenever you're ready, hold the gear boy up and press the triangle button. I'm not ready, Todd. I'm just not ready. Are you ready now? No. All right, I'm ready. R1! Did it work? Hmm. Maybe I... 
Oh. Hello, sir. <laughs> it worked. Holy crap. Ghosts are real. My God is a lie. Hello. What's the matter? I never thought he'd kill me. It's all my fault. And my name is Greg. Who? I said Greg. Stacy and her daughter. Oh God, what a fool I was for a, to fall for a married woman. It's never a crime to follow your heart. You must be a romantic like I was. It's kind of you to say, but I know better than that. We want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? We can never leave. Ever of flashbacks. Minus the murder. Yeah, yeah. There was less murder in her origin story. What do you mean? You can't pass on? What's keeping you here? Have you seen a demon with red eyes? Can you tell us anything? No, no, no! What, uh, what is it? He's here. Who? The red-eyed man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? I have to go. I'm sorry. Back into the toilet like Super Mario! Well, Todd, don't know about you, but I'm glad we're in the bathroom. Because I shit my pants. A lot of poop jokes tonight. <laughs> That was a fully formed and conscious apparition. I've never seen anything like that. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just one thing to read about the paranormal and formulate theories. And a whole other thing to actually experience it. I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. Well, we have some work to do. I think I've had my fill of excitement for today, so I'll have to stay and do some research. I want to look into the history of Addison Apartments to see if I can find anything about past residents and about the supposed murders. That'd be really helpful. While you do that, I'm going to go search for more supernatural hotspots. Oh, perfect. And, uh, by the way, I noticed some extraneous static around the game cartridge. You might want to check it out to make sure it's okay. I'm not gonna. How do I check out the game cartridge? Ton modified my gear boy to detect supernatural hotspots. I can use it by pressing the triangle button. Okay. A puzzle box that belonged to Larry's dad. It's missing a piece, so I can't get it open right now. Okay. Ooh, All right, well, let's go to each room in this damn apartment complex and look for ghosts. And I know just where to start. Excuse me, Miss Rosenberg? Let me just... Yep, I thought so. Oh my! What is that horrific device you have? It's, uh, uh, well, it, it it's sort of hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things you don't understand. Like the beyond, Sally. I'm gonna do it again. I can't do it again. I'm trying. Well, enjoy worshipping your cat god. His name is Mortis and he's adorable. I'm sure he is. That's silly. Who would name a cat Mortis? Probably some asshole. Okay, so anything in here to detect? Nothing? Alright, downstairs is clean. Well, with that, I guess, could, should we try Mrs. Gibson's room? I guess we can. Why not? 
And nothing in there. Alright, well this floor is clear. Let's go to two. And then we'll go up to five and stuff, and then we'll do the basement. I want to check every room. Even Todd's. Even though we were just in here. I must be sure. I must be sure. Okay, Todd's parents are still in there. Dad, are there ghosts in your room? No? Alright. I wonder if there's a reason a, a lot of the ghosts hang out in the bathrooms. I, I remember it was, like, mentioned they used the pipes to get around, but, like, they're ghosts. Can't they just walk through walls and shit? If they can't, then Danny Phantom's been lying. They can walk through walls, disappear, and fly. They're much more unique than the other guy. Sup, brother? Okay, bye. Bye, David. Nothing supernatural about David's room. Ooh, can we go into fucking Charlie's old room with this thing? Chug is downstairs, okay. Charlie's old room. Fuck, that's upstairs, isn't it? Wait, what? Charlie's room is... Are we not currently on three? We are. Okay, so Charlie's room has to be on two then. And I just didn't go in there. Yes, here we are. Glad I remembered this. So... What the fuck? Uh... What? What? What What the hell just happened? <laughs> what was that? I, uh... I'm confused. Well, I, I got some sort of collectible. That's cool. <laughs> it's cozy. I don't know if you've ever been in a in a water pipe, Sam. But while they are cozy, they're not quite pleasant. That's right. I've been in a water pipe, I guess. That's my origin story. All right, Robert's place. Robert's not home. Let's walk around Sal's place. I know we're supposed to go to the fifth floor, like, that's what the game wants me to do, but, like... Gizmo, are you a descendant of Mortis? I imagine it's pleasant. I mean, fair. Maybe it is. Spectres, are you in here? Alright, let's check my dad's room. Or let's check my room first. Edward Shovel Hands, are you haunting me? Oh, wait, I heard a noise. Oh, I guess our TV might be on or something. Oh, that's Gizmo watching the, the TV. I see. It would have been real creepy to see, like, a ghost haunting my dad or something. Alright. Let's check the other side. Now that I'm thinking about it, these are pretty decently sized apartments. Yeah, they're not bad. I mean, you know, the place is haunted. That sucks. But, like, besides that, these aren't bad places. Like, each room so far has, like, each uh, apartment has had, like, three rooms in it so far. That's, that's cozy. That's not that bad. Uh, let's go to the fifth floor. And then we'll try the basement. Oh, maybe we should go to Larry's treehouse. I didn't even think about that. Except for now, when I'm thinking about it. I wonder if there will be a ghost in here. Oh, how'd I know? That's another symbol. Yeah, I guess I'm collecting these for something. Maybe one day I'll understand what. Let's see if we can talk to Megan, though. Oh! Damn. 
Damn, Pentagram City, here I come. That didn't look good. I'm getting all of the shapes. Locked. Is there anything over here? No. Alright, let's check this room before we go in the bathroom. Nothing on the newspapers? Alright. I wish I could use it on the newspapers. Nagad? No, I, I can't. How strange. Yeah, I can't use it. Shit, I, I thought we had to talk to Megan. I guess not. Maybe we need to check my bathroom? No, we just did check my bathroom. Okay, let's check the basement. Anything over here? Any spookies I should know about? Alright, nothing in here. Are there ghosts in the kitchen? Kitchen ghosts? Aha! Another shape! Jesus! What the? Trophy earned. Devour. That's not scary at all. <laughs> I, I think that means I got all the shapes, though. Oh, no, Neil, that's the exit. You did it again. Why did they paint the exit door green? For some reason, I like walking through green doors. That symbol looked like a D20. Kind of did. All right, Larry, I'll see you in a minute. I gotta try something. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I would kick myself forever if I didn't look. What if we find out Larry's dad is dead and he's just hanging out in the tree house? Larry? I mean, Larry's dad? Aha! What the fuck? Sir. Who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? Who the fuck is Jim Johnson? Is that, that the dad? The, the, oh, I'm scared again. No, no, it's the Sal. In live, I'll end it. You're breaking up. I can't quite hear you. I sorry, haven't had much time. Just remember to, 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 to eat. Remember the red ball. What do you mean? What are you? To go and did sing. God, if I had more time, I would try to decipher this. Red ball! Did that go round? I really just need to start wearing a diaper because these ghosts keep making me shit my pants. Just when I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts, that shit happens. Whatever that was, my life is weird. Jim Johnson is Larry's father, I see. Well, I should probably check in with Todd and see if he's found anything. Well, I did check every single room, so that's pretty good. Hey, Larry. I might have met your dad. It was a magical floating head in the void, and it was scary. Might be your dad. Might not be your dad. Want we'll to figure that out together? Check out the Super Gear Boy. Todd made that for you? That's pretty awesome. Like, wait, 
Is that my walkie-talkie? Oh, yeah, he needed the parts for the upgrade. I hope you don't mind. I can get us new ones. Damn. Well, that's okay. Hopefully we'll find out more about these ghosts and my curse. Agreed. This is such a weird conversation to have, Larry. I do still enjoy your Zordon head. Larry's paintings seem to be telling the future a little bit, because that disembodied head just happened to us. Chug, are you a ghost? Are you a ghost, Chug? You have to tell me if you're a ghost, Chug. It's like being a cop. Alright, to room two. Dodd! I found weird shapes. One of them looked like a dice. Or a die. I, I used the plural. Sorry, sorry, Todd. It's strange, but I can't find any reports of past murders. The only one that comes up is our friend Charlie. But look at this photo of him in, on the public record. What? Well, that's not Charlie. What the... It gets even weirder. There's no trace of any of the officers that were here that day. Miss Sanderson was killed. Not even the classified police records have it. It's as if they were here. It's as if they weren't here at all. Or like they don't even exist. How is that possible? I'm not entirely sure. But I did find one interesting thing. It's a missing person case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age 7, lived in Addison Apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. Looks like it may be your little friend from upstairs. She might be the daughter that Greg, from my bathroom, was telling us about. The stories line up, right? Well, here's where it gets weird again. There's an update to the report one day after the original was filed, stating that the girl was found dead in Windigo Lake. That's a few miles south of here, along with her parents. Oh, Greg did some bad stuff. He did some murdering. Says they had been fishing and fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something. Aww. That's definitely her. Wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know. Uh, she's wearing it when I talk to her. But uh, I've seen it somewhere else. Philip, quit harassing Mortis. Since you haven't been able to summon her, even with the Super Gear Boy, perhaps finding that necklace will help somehow. That actually makes a lot of sense. It's something she had a connection to when she was alive. Now I just have to remember where the hell I saw that thing. I have no goddamn idea where that is. <laughs> I, I truly do not know. Is it here? I doubt it would be in a bathroom. Oh, you think it's in the Lost and Found? Or did Chug have it? Let me check the Lost and Found. For some reason, I'm thinking Chug might have it. I I remember Chug being important for something. Maybe he'll be important later. Maybe he's important now. I don't know. Chug. You're worthless to me, Chug. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I was right. Now, Larry... Now Larry will see Megan for sure. Nice. Mm -hmm. Water. Okay, I'm done. Yeah. So work your magic whenever you're ready. I'm just not ready, Larry. Are you ready now? Yes, I am! Megan? Are you with us? This is my friend Larry. 
We have some questions to ask you. Hi, Sally Face. Holy fuck, Knuckles! You know, maybe I did give Larry the right voice. That's not a nice word, Wary. <laughs> You'll have to forgive him, Megan. He's never seen a ghost before. It's okay. My daddy says bad words sometimes, too. Where have you been lately? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. Yep. Baby Neil is back, bitches. I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? Yes, the other side. That's where all... <laughs> That's where we all live. It's just like... It's just like... God, I haven't done Baby Neil in a while. It's just like this side, but a little different. Do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean Mommy's friend? I like Greg. He always brings me candy. Can you remember anything else about him? Um... Just that he was nice and always bought me candy. Oh, uh, and my daddy didn't like him so much. But I don't know why. Oh, no. That's not good. What can you tell me about your parents? I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here. But he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice like Mommy. Wait, so is he the demon guy? What happened? I remember they used to fight. And then they he was sad. Then his sadness turned into angriness. Do you remember your last days? I don't know. It's all blurry now. Were you fishing at Lake Windigo? Huh? No, I never been fishing before. But my daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait. J Jim Johnson? Oh yeah. How did you know that? That's my dad. Oh, I guess our daddies were friends. <laughs> Can you tell me where he is? You know, there aren't really two different voices than my Brooklyn accent and Baby Neil, so going between them is weird. <laughs> Do you know anything about him? Please, I need to know! I'm sorry. You lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. Well, fuck. I'm sorry. Is this your necklace? Hey, yes, where did you find that? It was downstairs in the bottom of the lost and found box. My mommy gave me that necklace. She was real scared. She said it would protect me from the monsters. The evil monsters in this world. Do you know where your mommy is now? She's in her bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she... Uh-oh. What? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like it when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye-bye. Wait, I... Well, she turned into goo. Shit. Yeah, I never see yeah, they never seem to stick around long enough. Well, we're gonna need to get into the bathroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Actually, uh, David borrowed my crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind going and getting it from him? I've asked him like three times now, and he always has some excuse. Maybe you'll have better luck. Sure. 
I'll head down to the third floor now and see what I can do. Hey, Larry. I love you. I love you too, Sal. Anything else in this room? I must be sure. Somebody got diddled? Diddling did happen. Definitely. Alright. To the third floor. Where we will harass Richard and get the crowbar. Richard? Oh, wait. Fuck. Was this not the right way to go? Oh, David. Wait. Is it David? Are we after David? It was David. Okay. <laughs> Sup, brother? Can I borrow your crowbar? I'd love to lend it to you, but it's the only thing holding up my shelf right now. See those kids next door in 301? They're nice kids and alls, but they have these real loud spotties sometimes shake the whole wall and my shelf falls right down. If yins could take talk to them for me, get them to be a little quieter, I could let you borrow the crowbar. Okay, Sal. I mean, fuck, you're not Sal. You're David. Am I Sal now? You're not Sal. Thanks, Sal. I do it myself, but I ain't of a clean clothes, you see. And I just hate to be an old potty pooper, you know. It's not a problem. I'll be right back. See is I hate reading for that guy. I'm so bad at reading in general. And this is like... It's just harder. Hello, college student. I'm enjoying your Nightmare Before Christmas hoodie. Hello, fellow college students. I'm in college, I guess. I'm going into your bathroom. Ghosts? Ghosts? Alright. College student. Hey Z, what's up? Hey Sally, I'm trying to choose a game for the party tonight. I've got this little book of games, but I don't know. Can I take a look? Be my guest. Musical chairs, charades. Next. Ooh, duck duck moose, dodgeball. Telephone or ping pong. We need to choose, like, a quiet game, right? So musical chairs isn't good. Charades would involve a lot of yelling. Duck Duck Moose would involve a lot of yelling. I really want to pick dodgeball, but that would involve a ball. Telephone is quiet. How about this game? Hmm. You know, this reminds me of grade school. That touch of nostalgia could be just what this party needs. Thanks, Sal. Good, maybe it'll make y'all shut up. Yo, what up, Sal? Hey, CJ, what are you up to? I'm trying to choose the music for our party tonight, dog. Mind if I have a look? Go for it, little dude. All right. We need to choose something quiet. <laughs> that was a nice track. I don't know which one of these they'd want. This sounds quiet. Yeah, let's go with this. How about this? Huh. You know, there's something interesting about this one. It's unexpected. It's classy. I think it could work. All right. Hi, Sierra. What are you up to? Hey, Sally. I'm contemplating an alternate activity for tonight's party. My friends and I usually like to do our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrowing it down. Is it okay if I look over your list? Sure. D plus D. 
What is D plus D? I think that's supposed to be D and D, but like... D plus D sounds like docking to me. <laughs> Movie night, video games, chess tournament, karaoke, debate. I mean, you know what I'm gonna pick. How about this? Yeah, we usually do D plus D on Thursdays, so I sort of want to do something different today. Okay, well, uh, I was thinking debate, maybe? Because it would be quiet? Or a chess tournament, maybe? How about this? The gang does like a good debate. The last time things got pretty heated. Probably best to pick something else. Ah, boo, no D plus D. <laughs> I might start calling it D plus D. That's hilarious to me. Chess tournament? How about this? It has been a while since we've done a churn tournament. That's a perfect choice. You know, they should call chess tournaments tournaments. I think that does it. Their party should be much quieter now. I've sabotaged this party, but I'm gonna get a free crowbar. David, give me the crowbar. Sup, brother? Crowbar. I worked it all out with the college students. They're going to have a much more low-key party this time. Wow, that's great news. Thanks for helping me, Aunt. Sarah will be so happy, too. Last time our wedding picture almost blowed up to pieces. I'm glad I could help. Right, let me grab that crowbar for you just in one second. Here you go, buddy. Take care. Thank you, too. Can I go in here again? I was gonna try to use this. I can't remember if I did or not. Is there anywhere else I should check? Let's try Chuck's place one more time. Yep, doesn't work. Alright, well, we had the crowbar. You did use it? I was wondering if I did. Thank you, Christy. My memory is awful. I guess I could use the crowbar to break in. Maybe I could find something important inside. Use the crowbar? Well, one, one sec. What's this one? Okay, now we'll use the crowbar. We didn't reconvene with Larry, either. Maybe he'll show up now. Or maybe he'll show up while we're in here. Also, we're gonna get caught for doing this, right? Nah, nothing creepy in here. Mrs. Sanderson? Oh, I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit at all. Ooh, no. My name is Sal. I moved in after you died. Oh, I can't remember much of it. Just hazy pieces like waking from a dream. Yes, I'm making this worse with this voice. If they're gonna do this, we're gonna make it awful. Do you know what happened to my Herman? He couldn't bear to come back to this room. Movers came and took everything out for him. You look totally defeated. You must have meant the world to him. Her process. <laughs> I miss him so much, Abbotsitz. This card isolation is torturous. I wish there would have never moved to this place. Then he would have never met them, and Charlie would have never. Oh, it's coming back. Don't worry, Mrs. Sanderson. Go hide. Go to Bazaar. All right. That's a big W for Sal. Now what the fuck do I do? Now what do I do? I don't know what to do now. Can I go into Robert's place yet? Okay, so maybe I just need to, like, report back to Larry. 
That's what I immediately think I should do. Jug, hello my friend. Larry! 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 I got the crowbar. Awesome! Go ahead without me. I'll be up in a minute. I had to make a stop on the way. What? I already did it. Okay. How are you holding up? I'm okay. I just can't believe I've been living in a building filled with ghosts. Oh, I mean, I can't believe I, I, I'm Brooklynish. It makes sense. If you think about it, you never sought it out. You didn't even believe in this stuff before. Oh, the room on the fifth floor. Thank you, Grissy. So even if you did see something strange, you probably just wrote it off in your mind as something more logical, you know? Yeah, probably right. Hasta Valista, Sally. Alright. Let us go. Let us go on an adventure. Door. All right, to the fifth floor with us. All right, in we go. Oh, so I guess me talking to Mrs. Sanderson was probably a side thing? Like, maybe that's something that was completely optional to do? I don't know. But nonetheless, we've done it now, so we got that dialogue. That's cool. I thought that was legitimately the door it wanted us to do. I, I have no idea why. Like, I forgot this door was here for a minute. But, let us contender. Hiya! Yes, crowbar the shit out of that. Oh yeah, we should have this out. Oh yeah, a spooky hole. Those are my favorite kind of holes. Oh, okay, there's a ghost here. Well, real fast, I, I just want to look at the spooky hole. Hole. There's a huge hole in the wall. Looks like there's a room on the other side. Oh, point of no return. Let's not do that yet. No. Not yet. Oh, jeez. Stacy? Are you okay? Well, fuck! Into the hole. Yes. Okay. Oh, the room's all slanty again. Oh, no. Oh, no, this ain't gonna be good, chat. Uh, hello? What the fuck? Uh... Chapter 1. She desperately sought a place among the council, so the aspiring witch traveled deep into the castle for the initiation trial to retrieve the Book of the Forgotten Truths. Ah! Oh, I, I didn't realize those were spikes. Well, was not expecting this. Let's go for it. 
Why not? Oh, fuck. Back to the start. Damn it. Don't love that I'm spawning from a pentagram. That's that's not really a great sign. Hmm. Bald man. I think this is actually a lady. Like, look, she's got hair. I think she's a lady. It might not be a lady. I don't know. To me, it looks like a lady. With a very big nose. <laughs> Uh, let's go down here. Oh, fuck! God damn it, Neil. You gotta get better at video games. Alright. Up here. Safe. Oh, well. Pff. That is not the way to go. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, I, I, the earlier, like, narration also mentioned a witch. So, like, I think that's who we are. I think we're the witch. But, like, we might not be. I don't know for sure. We could be a bald man with, like, extremely long hair in the back. Such bald people exist. Can I just... Can I just... Okay. Careful. Careful, Nia. Careful. 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 This isn't as hard as I'm making it, but I'm bad at everything, you see, so I gotta be extra careful here. Aha! Take the book! Rose! I have retrieved the book of forgotten truths. Will you not see my worth now? Like Mrs. Rosenberg? The Council recognizes the great resolve you've shown us today. Let this book stand as testament of your place among our ranks from henceforth. May our sight pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting. For we are the devourers of God. We will eat the cat known as Mortis. And the mysterious old woman gazed once again into Jim's eyes and ha said, if you can find the door this key unlocks, we will ha share the secrets of the universe with you. Jim? Oh, now we're playing as Larry's dad. See, Christy, you did get a bald man. <laughs> oh, this is like the story of Jim? Well, this one is, I guess. The first one was Rose, now we're Jim. Enter. Okay. Okay. I wonder if I'm only getting this because I got the shapes. This might be optional. How do I get down there? Aha! I see the path. This wasn't in the playthrough I watched. Huh. Then it might be because I got all those shapes. Maybe we're, like, working towards a secret ending. Oh, that's cool. I want to get the secret ending. And plus, we'd get an ending you've never seen before, Christy. That'd be cool as shit. All right. Oh, no! Oh, do I have to restart? Do I have to get the thing again? I hope I don't have to get the thing again. Do I have to get the thing again? I don't. Good. Ah, oh, fuck me gently. With a chainsaw. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. It could also be because the playthrough I watched was just a dubbing of the game. Well, that is true. There's not much to dub here. I wonder. I wonderly wonder wondrously. Button? No button. Button? Button, are you up here? Ooh, the button is up here. But how do I get the fuck over there? Oh, fuck. Well, I was going this way anyways. Yeah. Gotta go this way. All right, Neil. Be extra careful. Extra careful. Extra careful. I did that one on purpose. <laughs> Let us go in the this direction. This is the wrong direction. Damn it, Jim, you silly bitch. 
So I guess we're learning, like, what happened to Jim. Rose was apparently part of a cult. Which makes me now realize that my Mortis worshipping joke was not that far off. <laughs> Mortis, you got a cult, buddy. Are you excited? He's he's sleeping. <laughs> he's not excited about the cult. Enter. Oh, what is this? Use the key. Chapter 3. He knew not why he was drawn to this place, yet could not prevent his feet from treading the dirt, path before him. Perhaps it was simply curiosity, or perhaps it was destiny. Who the fuck are we now? Are we a clown? What the hell? Well, first things first, can I get in this tractor? Is this a tractor? No, this is a horse and buggy! Okay, so this is the past past. Can I go over here? No. Can I go over here? No. I look like one of the Three Stooges. Larry. Oh, hey! Talk. Wait, hold on. Listen. Chat, I'm gonna let you pick, because I feel like this might be a choice. Do we talk? Or do we listen? talk. I'm curious what listen does, but we'll talk. Sorry, members only. Alright, I guess we get to listen. <laughs> Sounds like, oh, it's Greg! Sounds like someone is crying. I better go check to make sure they're okay. Hello? Oh, well. All these rooms look the same. Well, eventually we'll find something, right? All these rooms look the same. All these rooms look the same. Oh, well. So when he says all these rooms look the same, I guess that means we reset? Okay. So, up here. Then here is the next room, maybe? Okay. So now let's try down. Left? Okay, so it's up. This way. Down. Let's try down again. Okay. Okay, now we know. So it's up. This way. Down. This way. Hello, miss. Are you okay? Who are you? Pardon my rudeness, ma'am. My name is Gregory Montague. I didn't mean to intrude on you. It's just that I heard crying and... W wait, wait a minute, Larry's dad was here! So this can't be the far back past. C can it? Uh, I wanted to make sure everything was okay. That's kind of you. I take it you were not with the men of this church. No, ma'am. That's for the best. It's terrible what goes on in this place. Keeps me up at night. I'm begging to... I'm beginning to fear for mine and my daughter's safety. I've tried to reason with them. I've reached my wit's end. I understand. I lost my family last year in the big factory fire. It breaks my heart to see a kind lady such as yourself so broken up. I'd like to help however I can. Specifically, if you would like to have an affair with me, I think that would be very beneficial for us both, and certainly wouldn't result in one of us or both of us dying. You just tell me what you need. That's awful kind of you, Mr. Montague. I'm dearly sorry about your family. Please, call me Greg. Pleasure to meet you, Greg. I'm Stacy Holmes. You couldn't have come along at a better time. You must be an angel. Let's have an affair. Just a humble farmer that's glad to be helpful to nice folk like you. The pleasure is all mine. Let's have that affair. And then they did. 
When her husband learned of her indiscretions, Stacy knew there wasn't much time left. In fear for her life, she turned to an unlikely ally. Okay, she said I need to cut the power lines on each floor. I hope we can pull this off. So we're in the apartment complex now. Can I go in any of the rooms? I need to look down here. There, there are bad guys here. I need to check and see what's down here. Cut the power. Okay. Floor four. Oh, this dude's following me. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Okay. Floor three. Floor three. Okay. Cut the power, no, 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 get away from me, you cultist son of a bitch. How dare you worship my kitty. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, God, oh, Jesus. Oh, God, oh, I'm calling out for these gods that you don't believe in. You believe in a cat god, which is my cat. Mortis, why aren't you helping? We could be dealing with this together. Oh, God, oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, man, do I have to start over? Oh, that sucks. I was so far, man. All right. Okay, let's get out of here. Floor three. Hiya. No, no, stop it. Stop it, you Jawas. Leave me alone. Okay, no, fuck. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry you must deal with my buffoonery. But at this point, I'm really curious. I don't think I've played this stuff before, either. I don't know if I found this when I played. I'm intrigued. I want to see where this goes. hi -ya. The lore. <laughs> I knew you'd be in on this with me, Christy. We're partners in lore. <laughs> not partners in law, not partners in crime, partners in lore. No, no, fuck. Yes, I've done it. Now what do I do? Oh, the basement. Do, do I just... Can I go in either of these rooms? Enter. Okay, Rosenberg. I cut the power, and Greg disposed of the bones. What? Good! And I've destroyed the seventh book. Will we really be able to stop them? We've got a good chance. Nothing is guaranteed, but I think we might have done it. I should have never let things get this far in the first place. I'm sorry that Luke had to get your family involved in all this. Luke, Luke, Luke Addison? Oh wait, no, he wasn't named Luke. Oh, Luke was the husband. Luke is the red-eyed demon. If we can stop the ritual, then the council won't have another chance to perform it for a thousand years. Then I pray to God that this works. But this doesn't make sense. That was... that was Larry's dad. What's going on with the timeline here? God doesn't care about us, my dear. Don't waste your breath on such things. We must fight for our own survival. Who are we going to play as next? Playtime was interrupted by the promptly settling sun. In that moment, the young girl realized she had gone far too deep into unfamiliar woods. Are we playing as Megan now? Oh, it looks like we're Megan. This is giving me FNAF vibes. Can I go up here? I can. Hello, tree. Hello, woods. Hello, woods. I'm gonna keep going north until I get to Canada. This isn't too long ago, because Tim disappeared when Larry was a child. <laughs> or, or Jim. I believe you're right, Christy. Like, I... I I think you're right, but they're saying it was thousands of years ago, and Greg is referencing the fact that he was like a farmer back in the old days. 
So I don't know. They were definitely in a church a minute ago instead of being in like a... What's the word I'm looking for here? Okay, we need to find the path. So let's try going straight down. It's not set thousands of years ago. I believe you. It's just, I'm wondering if there is time shenanigans still. And also, why is this on a video game cartridge? <laughs> like, why do we see this? Okay, that's not working. Let's try down and right. Will we get anything new? Oh, this does look new. So, let's try going up now. Okay, this looks kind of new. Left. Alright, let's try down. And I think I said right, but this is actually left. Left is the way I went. Alright, let's try down again. Alright, this still looks different. Uh, let's try actual right. Where have you been, child? You had me worried sick. I'm sorry, Mama. Oh, but I'm sorry, Mama. I was washed, and it was so dark, and, and... Hush now, my sweet angel. Everything is okay here. I want you to have this. Grandma's necklace? It will protect you from the wickedness in this world, so you don't have to be afraid anymore. What about Fadu? He doesn't have... He doesn't have to know this will be our little secret. But, wait, wait, then what's going on with the horse and buggies, Christy? Like, if it's not taking pa place in the far-off past, which, for the record, I'm not saying a thousand years ago, but it seems like this would either have to, like, theoretically, I'm thinking the story of this game is going to be, oh yeah, it's now the thousand years are up and we can summon this thing again. I don't think those were buggies. They looked like buggies. I guess they could have been cars, cars, but they were weirdly shaped. A young occultist found herself tangled in the bowels of the castle, searching for the final components for the council. Oh, I'm a cult member. Please be the one true cat god, Mortis. May his chin be scratched, his belly be rubbed. And may he be able to sit in whichever chair he desires. Be damned, the heretic Neil Burris. How dare that fool deny our child, our golden cat god, of anything he requests. Sure, the heretic feeds him, and waters him, and does all the things a good pet owner would do, but he's a dick. I found a skull. I hope this Mortis is the god they're worshipping joke isn't getting stale chat. Because I am going to drive it into the goddamn ground. <laughs> Praise be to Mortis. Oh, skull. Okay. I guess we're collecting the bones. Oh, could these be the, the bones that Greg hid? Or did he destroy the bones? I can't really remember. Also, I, I don't know. Why is there a spike-filled dungeon? <laughs> like, whose dungeon is this? Where is this? Oh, do you think this is built underneath of the, uh... The apartment complex, maybe? Like, maybe there are catacombs underneath of it? Oh, what the shit? Okay, so this is just a dead end. I think he destroyed them. Okay, so either these are different bones, or this is before he did that. You know, Greg was very unhelpful as a ghost. He was like, oh, I shouldn't have gotten involved with a married woman. He could have mentioned, oh yeah, I was destroying a cult-like bones. Uh, I was trying to save this woman from all the bullshit that was happening. I mean, the affair was definitely part of it, but, like, the priority was this culture. He could have mentioned that. Would have been nice of him. 
All right, let's get these bones back. Then bones, then bones. The skull bones connected to the pentagram, which I will use to summon a weird satanic demon from the great beyond. All right. I assume this is the path I must take. Although, I, I guess this could be another dead end. I think we'll see in a minute. Oh, is this the path I took earlier, actually? This is looking a little familiar. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Uh, oh, actually, it said a young cultist was gathering what the council needed. Huh. Oh, well, here's the last bone. I wonder who we are. Like, who is this cultist? I see Jim up there. Jim was part of the cult. I have retrieved the remaining assets. Very good. The preparations are now ready to complete. Stay within the circle while we perform the summoning. I understand. Oh, shit. All right, and now we move on to Chapter 7. In a moment, he found himself somewhere else. Even though Luke wasn't sure, he ended up here. He knew what must be done. The woman is a threat to us. She cannot be trusted. We will accomplish great things together and cannot afford any obstacles. Oh, fuck, are we going to kill our wife? Oh, God, we're fast. Oh, Jesus, we're fast. Ow! Eh, eh. If I use the D-pad, it's a little easier to control. There we go. Enter. The child is, will only slow us down. She will never follow us with her mother's treacherous blood running through her veins. All right, well... Let's kill my family, I guess. Imagine if Caleb just heard that in the other room and he was like, What the fuck? <laughs> Walk with me into the undying flame and our power shall be endless. Oh, this is us. Also, our hair like moves as we do. That's kind of funny. Okay. Let us... Oh, 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 careful. Careful of the lasers. I also think a lot of this might be like a, uh, a metaphor, because I can't imagine them actually having lasers in a game like this. Can I look around this area before I jump in the fire? There is a large amount of the area I can go around. Let's look around. I want to see things. Okay, into the fire. Oh! Hey, Luke! Wait, what about Chapter 8? Luke? But Chapter 8! What the hell just happened? Todd gave me one of his inventions. He said it theoretically could overload and destroy an evil spirit. After I got it. Oh, but after I got it, I came upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. It's a good thing you did. So that red-eyed creep has been here for decades? That was before I was even born. I guess maybe I'm not cursed after all. Okay. Confusing, but okay. Yeah, who knew Addison Apartments had such a dark past? I thought living with Charlie was a freak. It was freaky. Damn, this shit is nuts, dude. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about that demon showing up anymore. Todd's thingy seemed to take care of it. 
Did it? Because we didn't see that happen. Oh, what is it? No, that's great and all. I was just thinking, I guess since there's no curse, this all means that my dad, he just... He just... Wait, no, your dad was one of the cultists, Larry. Aww. Hugs. I'm sorry, Sal. That's our time for today. The gods giving me the look. Wait! That was only part of the story! I had hoped to get some honest insight from you today. Especially with this being our last session and your trial in just a few days. I swear on my life, I told you nothing but the truth. Government conspiracies, demons, ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system? Sal, these things don't exist. You really can't expect me to just believe you. Think about it from my perspective. The evidence against you for what you did. Well, it's profound. I know how it sounds, but what I've told you is the truth. Go to the treehouse, please. Just go and see for yourself. You'll find all the proof you need. What the fuck was chapter 8? What a fucking psycho, eh? I'm gonna go to that treehouse and sniff his items. Chapter 8 is interesting, I just watched a video. How come I couldn't play it? Do you know why? Oh, well, I'm just gonna stroll. Why not? I wonder if there was like a choice or something in 7 I could have made to do Chapter 8. Maybe I fucked up. Maybe I lost the ending. Interesting, interesting. Well, now that I know everything to do in Chapter 4... Oh, hey, the painting's up here now. I theoretically could replay this all quickly. I think it's because you chose 7 first. You're supposed to play 8 before 7? That's slightly confusing. <laughs> A few old amateur paintings, probably Larry's. Rusty tools and other various junk. Boxes, they're filled with clothes, books, cassettes, nothing of importance. Seems to be a photograph of Larry's par parents. Nothing strange about it, though. Ugh, these are absolutely nothing. There's absolutely nothing up here. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just needed to see for myself. Sal was so convincing, and this whole thing has seemed off. Dr. Enon? Wow! Don't freak out, man! We need your help! You have to get Sal out of jail! This shit is much deeper than we thought, please! We have to get Sal here! This... this... you are... you... can't be! Calm down, dude. You're gonna give yourself the heart attack. This is important. If Sal doesn't get here soon, then... Yeah, fuck, I killed him. Oh. Oh, yeah, he's dead. He's very dead. Conjure is the name of that trophy. I'm gonna have to look up Chapter 8 after this, because I'm curious. What the hell? The Red Bull! What the fuck, Berries? Is this real? No, Sal. It's not real. Am I dreaming? 
White room. At the nap, dip, that, yelp, dip, dip, forget, don't. What the shit? Others ought place shit for capes. Not must you, but la rue. If I you damn, and it did. It's backwards? Not all of it's backwards. Some of it definitely is, though. The only one who believed you is dead now. What should I do? Run, I assume? Huh? Run! 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 What the hell is that? We'll find out in the next episode, because I'm pretty sure this is chapter three. <laughs> Some progress may be lost. That's okay. <laughs> We'll still start at episode three. So yeah. Holy fuck shit. I am much more curious in this game now than I ever have been. Holy fuck. What the fuck was all that? What is chapter eight? Where is this going to go? Are there going to be more video game things like that? Chat. I think we have a whole new series here that we got to commit to. I need to find the secrets, and Christy needs that lore. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the stream for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. I hope you got curious about this, because I need to understand this now. We are playing the shit out of this game. So yeah, thanks for watching all. And remember, Mortis is cute, but you probably shouldn't worship him. At least not fanatically. Later, taters. <laughs>